All right, this lesson is fifth grade operations and algebraic thinking. The first standard talks about evaluating uh, numerical expressions. And guys, you need to understand that an expression is any math sentence without an equal sign. Okay, thank you. This is 5.OA. Uh, one, evaluating numerical expressions. Okay? But more specifically, we're going to pay attention to expressions with parentheses and brackets. So I'm going to expose you to the order of operations. Okay? That's where this is going. Okay. Now, for example, let's identify what an expression is. An expression is any math sense. without an equal sign. Okay, so if you needed some examples, we know that 2 times 3 is an expression, but 2 times 3 equals 6 is an equation. How do I know this? I know the absence of an equal sign means it's an expression. I know the presence of the equal sign means it's an equation. So that's kind of how you can tell the difference between the two. The order of operations states that there is specific procedure for evaluating numerical expressions. We use the acronym PEMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S. PEMDAS. When I was in school, we learned it as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay? But it really stands for parentheses, or brackets, which is what you'll learn about today. Exponents, which you know a little bit about. The M stands for multiplication. The D stands for division. The A stands for addition. And the S stands for subtraction. But there are some, some, some exceptions to the M, the D, the A, and the S. When we're limited to just these two operations, multiplication and division, those are the only ones you see present in the expression, you have to problem solve or comp compute from left to right. Same deal here. When you're limited to just addition and subtraction, they're the only two operations in the expression. You have to compute from left to right. Okay? It's important that we understand the background before we can explore some examples. So let's look at some examples right quick. Okay, if I give you, we'll call these, no, I'm gonna erase it so I can write it further up. Hopefully you pause this to copy this down. The steps up there. This is C. Just some examples. If I gave you if I 
back at it again. looking at that expression and we know it's an expression because we only see a math sentence the equal sign is absent okay I see parentheses braces and brackets excuse me parentheses braces and brackets that's a bracket that's a brace that's a parenthesis. Either way, it says that that's the step to complete first in your order of operations. Okay, So I'm going to erase these because I need this room to work it out. And I know my steps. Oh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And I know if I remember that, I'll know what comes first. Parentheses, brackets, braces, or um, parentheses, brackets, and braces, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So look at this as step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and step six. Okay? I need to always start as further inward as possible. You want to start with your parentheses and then advance to your brackets, excuse me, your braces, and then advance to the brackets. Let me show you what I mean. I'll start in the parentheses and work outward. The parentheses is right here. Do you agree? What's in it? 7 minus 2. Okay, I'm going to bring my answer down here. That's 5. That means the parentheses is eliminated because I've just done everything inside it. All I'm left with now is a plus sign and an 18. Do you guys see that? And then on the outside, I have a plus 7, and it's separated by a big old bracket. So as you can see, the brackets are the biggest. Then like the mama bear is the braces, and the baby bear is your parentheses. Brackets is the papa bear. Your braces is your mama bear, and your parentheses are your baby bear. Okay, start with your baby bear, then get to the mama bear and do papa bear last. That makes sense? Okay. After I've done seven minus two, I got five. That eliminated the parentheses. There was nothing else in it, but I still had a plus eighteen in beside the bra in the inside the braces. So I needed to do that first. Now I go to the braces. Eighteen plus five is twenty-three, and I bring down a plus seven. That's in the brackets. And then I get 7 plus 23, which is 30. Probably think, oh, that's easy, Mr. Gray. I know it is. It doesn't get any harder. It's that simple. Okay? I'm going to give you another one. And these are coming straight from the worksheet booklet that I would normally give you. Okay. This is a good one. Pop a bear bracket. Eight times, mama bear, brace, 16 minus, baby bear, 26. Close the baby bear, close mama bear, daddy bear covers us all. Okay. Where am I going to start? Baby bear, parentheses. What's inside the parentheses? 23 minus 17. What is 23 minus 17? 6. I have just done my parentheses. What? I got 92. Good. What else is left? I subtract 16, but that's inside mama's braces. And I can bring down daddy's bracket. What's left? The braces, 16 minus 6 is 10. I can lose the braces because I've done everything inside it and just bring down daddy's bracket. And 8 times 10 is 8. Hopefully that's not too hard. Just take your time with it. Remember, our steps for order of operation is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. 
or parentheses, brackets, and braces, they all encompass or comp uh, the P is composed of brackets, braces, and parentheses. Exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Let's do one more. Let's do bracket 22 minus brace 7 times 8 there, 5 minus 3. Where do I start? Start at the baby bear. Start at the parentheses. What's inside the parentheses? 5 minus 3, that is 2. I can cross it out. I've used it. What's left? I've got a 7 on the outside of the parentheses inside mama's brace. And I can bring down the minus 22. But that's inside daddy's bracket. Now I go to mama's brace, 7 times 2. 14. I can lose mama's brace because I've done everything inside it. Bring down what's left. That's inside daddy's bracket. 22 minus 14 is 8. Guys, it doesn't get any easier than that. Okay? Your vocabulary is expression bracket Order of operations, and PEMDAS. You need to know that acronym and what it stands for. Okay? Stay tuned for the next lesson. You will find your uh, assessments on math games. You'll get a worksheet later in the week. But this will conclude evaluating numerical expressions.